a pass throw, scores! Eric Pastro's got his first BC Hockey League goal. The hometown boy for his hometown team. Wide of the net, rebound in front, Nikita the save, the rebound, scores! Eric Pastro jumps on a terrible Chilliwack turnover. It's Klish comes for Pastro, he'll shoot it, score! Eric Pastro, a centering pass from the right wing circle. It was Eric Pastro in the back side and the Vipers increase their lead, it's three to one. He feeds one in front, deflected, stopped by Appleby and the rebound, Pastro scores! Work him into the corner, maybe knocked it free, Pastro scores! Back to Chubby, on the right side, feeds into the corner. Pastro, sharp angle, he scores! He's an extremely smart player, like very, very intelligent hockey mind. Um, you know, it, it, the the way, the plays he makes, the things that he takes away, like his stick, his stick skills, you know, his ability to defend, knowing where to be on the ice. Like he's he's a smart player. He always has been. His his will is is very very high, um, and I knew that a long time ago. So you know, that was an easy one for me. I knew he was going to be the the right type of kid right type of local kid especially because of how much he cares. You know, how much he cares about the community, how much he cares about the Vipers winning hockey games. He has since he was a kid. Uh, yeah, I think both my parents actually played and when I was three, it actually all started at this rink, Caltire Place. They brought me out for just a public skate and right from there I knew I loved the game and like I said, both my parents played so it was kinda, they, they put me in it right away and I've loved it ever since. Yeah, I played all my all my minor hockey in Vernon up till Bantam second year. I uh, went to play for the North Zone Kings program, and then after that, I went to Kelowna for the Okanagan Rockets for three years. Yeah, like you said, the Rockets are a very good program. They've had lots of high-end players go through there, so it was an honor to be able to play there for three years. I think all the coaches I had throughout those three years were really good for me to develop me into the player I am today. And then last year, I was fortunate enough to have a really good season myself and as well my team. We won the championship and. We came up short in the Pacific Regional Finals, but it was a really good season for us all. Yeah, for sure. It's always been what I've kind of wanted to do. Uh, I've been around the organization for a really long time. I've been building. I built two players here for a span of six years, so they kind of always were, were kind of telling me the good things about the program. And if I'm trying to go the college route, this would be this would be the place to play. And obviously, being from Vernon, it's. It's a really good place to play. I think it's one of the more prestigious, if not the most prestigious, franchise in the BC League, and it's really special for me to play at home in front of my friends and family every night. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think the pressure's too bad. It's, it's just hockey at the end of the day, I think. There's maybe a little, little added pressure, but it's just fun pressure with friends and family in the building every night. So they want to see you do well, and obviously I want to show up every night for the fans and, and kind of represent Vernon in the way I, way I want to. And uh, just, just a little pressure on I think coming in, like I've I've seen this team win championships. I've seen them in the RBC Cup, and I really want to be a part of a team that can do that again here because it's been a little while, and I think the fans would love to see a championship back in Vernon. Yeah, first off, I just want to give a shout out to the Vernon Vipers. I think the coaching staff and everyone's been great and giving me the opportunity to play play good minutes and and really showcase myself. But then, yeah, I've been talking to uh, Bennett Hambrick, assistant coach here, for quite some time, and then we hopped on a Zoom boat month ago and then a week later I was down there for a visit and right when I got there I knew it's they're in a super good conference one of the best in NCAA and really they have everything you need the coaches are great the players I met were spectacular to me and I'm just really excited to get down there yeah first and foremost I want to win a championship here I think this year we have the group to do that so I'm really looking forward to the stretch here in playoffs and then for me individually I really want to work on like my skating my first few steps and then maybe add some physicality into my game Time now for Rapid Fire with Eric Pastro. And Eric, off the top, I always ask, why do you wear number 15? Yeah, number 15 is actually really special to me. Um, I've always been around the organization, like I said, and my favorite player and the guy I idolize most growing up, Mike Zaleski, wore number 15. And I've, I've had it since I was five, and I've, I've tried to wear it every year a couple years. The older guys have gotten it, but I was fortunate enough to get it this year. Mike Zaleski, that's yeah. a name I think a lot of fans will remember. I remember Mike. Great offensive talent, yeah. nice hands, and uh, ultimately I think he uh, made it to with the Canucks and bounced around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he played I think like six games or so in the NHL. Yeah, so. that's great. Yeah. Uh, favorite pet, do you have one? Uh, yeah, I got a 15-year-old teacup chihuahua named Chica, so <laughs> she's, she's awesome. Nice. Who would play you in a Hollywood movie? 
Uh, I'm not a huge movie guy, but maybe like Dennis Leary, I think we'll look a little similar, so maybe him. I think that would be great. I love Dennis Leary. Now, which Vernon Viper loves his junk food? Who gets oh, into the bad food? George Stabernay is for sure. <laughs> Every time I drive home, we're stopping at a corner store to pick up some candy, so it's got to be George. <laughs> nice. Uh, favorite superhero? Oh, I'm not, a, I'm not really a superhero guy. Really? But I, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw it Aquaman. I don't think many people shout him out, so I'll give him a shout out here. Yeah, not a lot of love for Aquaman. I gotta admit that one. Now, what kind of music do you stream to get ready for the big game? I, I try to stay pretty calm before the game, and I'm a big country guy, so I just, I just play country on the way here. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> one thing you'll have to take to college that you're not gonna leave at home, you're gonna take with you. Um, I don't know. Maybe my Xbox. I, it's, it'll be a bad distraction, but maybe my Xbox. Gotta take the Xbox. Yeah. Best place to eat here in Vernon? Oh, my parents' house for sure. Both my mom and my dad, great cooks. But if I had to go out, I probably have to give a shout out to my player sponsor over at Earl's. So I'll go Earl's. Both sound great. Silver Star Mountain or Cal Beach? That's summer, winter. Uh, out of the two, I don't really go to either of them too often, but probably Cal Beach. You can usually find me at the golf course where I try to get out five, six times a week. So really, after a training, big golfer, yeah, eh? Yeah, after training, I try to get out there. Okay, now there are some really good rivalries here in the Interior Conference. Favorite BCHL team to play against? Ah, uh, I like being Salmon Arm in their barn. It okay. feels really good. Penticton too, but I think Salmon Arm tops it off a little bit. Excellent, and you are? Eric Pastor, number 15 for your Vernon Vipers.